In this video, we will show you how to create a training provider profile on Winda. This process can be done by a GWO approved and active auditor with a valid AQT. This process can also be done by a certification body user as long as their profile has an active auditor. This example is from the auditor user perspective. When logged into an auditor profile, you will see these options on the screen. In order to create a new training provider, select Create Training Provider. On this page, you will see a list of fields which need to be filled in with information about the training provider. For the name and email address, this is for the contact person at the training provider. If the training provider is in a country which uses the VAT system, you will also need to include the VAT number. Remember that you must include the country code as well as the numbers. Do not include any spaces or extra characters in the VAT number. If there is any issue, you will see an error message from the system. Next, you must upload the file for the training provider's certificate. This must be a PDF file. You can only use one file for all of the modules which have the same expiration date. Once you add the file, you can include your company's certificate number. Then you will have to fill in all of the accredited courses for the training provider. You will have to select the name of the course as well as the delivery setting that has been certified. Remember that when a training provider is certified for a GWO module, if there is also a refresher module, they are certified automatically for that module, but you still need to add it during this section. Once you are done adding all of the modules from the new certificate, you will need to fill in the valid from and valid to dates of the certificate. Remember, most GWO training settings are valid for two years. On-site training is valid for one year. Because this is an example of a brand new training provider with an initial certification, the certificate will be valid for two years. You will also need to upload a completed audit report using the GWO template. You will be asked to enter the date that the audit was completed on, as well as fill in the audit methodology. When you select audited by, you will see a list of your certification body's approved auditors. You can add all of the audit team members during this section. If you need to add an additional certificate, you can choose Add Certificate, and you will see a duplication of the previous section. You might need to do this if you have an additional certificate which has different dates than the first. For example, if you have done an audit for on-site training, which is valid for only one year, or if the training provider has an additional set of modules for which they have been certified with a different validity period. When everything is complete, select Create Training Provider. The training provider user will receive an email with instructions on how to activate their account which they must do within 48 hours. Once the account is activated, the GWO team will begin the review process. During account activation, the training provider admin will have a chance to review and make minor adjustments to the data entered during registration. They will be able to view their certificate, but they will not be able to make any changes to the data entered about the certificate. Once the password is set, the user will need to accept the applicable fees for Winda, as well as the terms and conditions 
and data privacy policy. When this is done, they can activate their account. After this, GWL will receive a notification of the new pending account. As an auditor, if you go back to your main page, you will now be able to see the pending audit under the pending audits section. This is where you can manage requests from the GWO team asking for edits or clarifications about the certificate or audit report that you have provided. By going to the page for your new training provider, you can see the latest message from the GWO team about the audit report that was provided. You can also review the entire log history to see all of the comments back and forth between the auditor and the GWO team. In this case, the comment indicated that there needed to be a clarification made in one of the sections on the audit report. Therefore, the auditor must correct the section and upload a new version of the audit report. You can also include any kind of reasoning or explanation in a log entry, which will be sent to GWL. Once you click Submit, the status will be changed back to Requested, and the GWL team will be notified of the changes you have made. Once the certificate and audit report have been approved and accepted by GWL, you will see the new training provider under the list of training providers that your certification body manages. They will also appear in your audit table, showing which audits have been completed already and the next audits which will be due for the certification cycle.